came uh, to the Netherlands in 2014, July. Um, I've studied uh, English literature in Damascus University Faculty of Art. And uh, here I'm studying now in the uh, Hochschule Utrecht, uh, teacher education in English. Uh, I've taught uh, in Syria and in Jordan and also in uh, Saudi Arabia. The first step was the language. You know, I have to learn Dutch. Uh, I don't. I didn't have a problem in uh, communicating with people because most of the people speak English. But I had to learn the Dutch because uh, I have to find my way. I had already my, you know, my idea about finding a work, going through my, you know, my own career, which is teaching. So I've asked many people, you know, my neighbors, my friends, and you know, uh, the, uh, some people from the municipality and uh, in Berk. Uh, they gave me, you know, like advice, uh, and they said, okay, you have to uh, get the D2 level in order to be able to go to the university. And they said you have to equivalent your, uh, evaluate your uh, certificate first. Uh, I did it via the NOFEC. NOFEC is actually an organization that equivalates the certificates. And everybody who came from, you know, from the war, they have to equivalent their certificates in order to see, yeah, it, yeah, where they are. So uh, they help the uh, students to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, uh, equivalent their papers. They are everything, everything that is related to the uh, uh, their documents. My uh, certificate, certificate was uh, equivalent. Uh, here, like you know, uh, like two years out of three. So I started searching for you know, like universities, HBOs, or uh, you know, some places to start my uh, education uh, in the Netherlands. Finally, uh, with an advice from my uh, integra reintegration consultant and the municipality, uh, we knew that there is a sort of program. In the, uh, in the Hochschool Utrecht, which is uh, teacher education in English. It was all in English. So I thought, yeah, this is it. You know, this is the, 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 the education that I want to study. The assessment was conduct conducted in an uh, encouraging uh, and uh, respectful environment. And she tries, you know, to um, take my situation into consideration. She formed, like, you know, uh, an idea about everything about me. We talked a lot about my experience. We talked about a, lo a lot about my diploma. You know, we talked about uh, several things that. Uh, led to uh, led, led to you know like uh, formulating a clear perspective. I think sh it was more informal, not formal. The outcome was a personalized program for me actually. I've got some exemptions like you know the subjects that are related to my former education. Uh, the things that are related to literature and things like that. I've got some exceptions, but not a lot. Uh, one of the things is that my work experience was not added here because it's not a European, a European uh, experience. Or actually, it's not an, uh, an experience in the Netherlands. I've already had these things. I've already had these uh, you know, qualifications. So I have to repeat it because I don't have like uh, a proof that I uh, I master these uh, qualifications, you know. Uh, so I don't have a problem because it's fine. It's like a practice for me. But I think it would be really, really helpful if I can like skip or you know that if there is like uh, another another program which is intensive program for uh, you know students like me or for teachers with experience. 
it would be really helpful if there is another a sort of another program that can show your skills like you know uh, uh, a sort of test or like a sort of uh, equivalent or uh, evaluation you know a sort of evaluation uh, that can really show your 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 uh, uh, qualifications but uh, I think this is something it has it will take a lot of time to to to, to start to begin you know uh, doing this project project I don't know I don't know if they can accept it or not but uh, it would be really helpful because it will uh, you know, shorten the, 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 the time, the time, you know, it will just uh, focus on the things that you miss, not the things that you already know. As soon as possible, I'm going to, you know, apply for schools all over the Netherlands. So I think I will have a good uh, opportunity because if they can see your uh, uh, qualification because in the, um, uh, during your internship you are you know uh, imposing your qualification you are uh, giving them like you know uh, letting them formulating a perspective about your uh, your uh, you know strong points your uh, qualifications your uh, you know experience actually uh, my goal is to help the newcomers the new refugees to find their way easier, easily. You know, they don't have to go through to, to go through all the procedure, and all the procedures, and all the difficulties that I faced. So uh, I'm trying to help them to just step to the first, uh, take the first step. You know, to to uh, to be initiated. To uh, I'm trying to help them. You know, uh, um, uh, finding their path. Uh, Many, many people don't have any idea about uh, the system here, the educational system or the, uh, you know, how can I work, how can I study, what, what should I do? I'm trying to pass my experience to those uh, new people. The most important thing is orientation programs. There should be like an orientation programs to the those people, to the new people, to the refugees, actually, uh, they have to form uh, to, to to have uh, full information about education. So I think it, it, if there is a sort of like a cooperative work, uh, a cooperative work between the, the university and the municipality, uh, targeting these people, it would be really really great.